Hey everybody, we just got off the Majesty of the Seas cruise ship and we're in Nassau, Bahamas and we're going to take a little walk. Dunmore made one order and began one of the worst acts of slavery ever. Sixty-five steps. Says there used to be sixty-six steps except for the asphalt that took away the first step. Fort Thin Castle, which is apparently not an actual fort, just a cannon embankment. Places to buy things. Old water tower. Going into Fort Thin Castle. Fort Fincastle was built in 1793 by Lord Dunmore, a royal governor, whose second title was Viscount Fincastle. This fort, shaped like an old paddle wheel steamer, was built to protect the city from invasion, but saw little action. It served as a lighthouse until 1816 and was subsequently used as a signal tower. solid rock up until that point where it's made out of carved bricks. So we're going into the post office. Government House is on a 10-acre estate. It's the official residence of the Governor of Bahamas. It was built in 1801, and it is an excellent example of the mingling of Bahama, British, and American colonial architecture. It looks like something you find in South Carolina. In front of the building is the statue of Christopher Columbus, imported from London in 1830. Others will be towed. National Art Gallery of the Bahamas. Francis Xavier Cathedral. This fort has been turned into a bleachers. Also, I think this is a field where they may play cricket. Cock fritters.
as I can get some hair regrowth tonic. Adventure. I have to go get a cold drink on the boat. <laughs> 